Here on YouTube, there are many different voices in the atheist YouTube community. Claire recently closed her account but reopened a new one almost right away. She does videos on geology and ponage videos, and every Sunday she puts out a series called Coffee with Claire where she reviews the YouTube week and gives out shout outs and names the dim bulb of the week. I was once featured in one of her shout outs and that's how I got a lot more of my views. Claire briefly explained that she removed her account because of a minor uh, issue with depression. Happy Cabby removed himself from the YouTube. He, un he unplugged his internet access so that he would avoid the stress. Thunderfoot recently made a video called The Hopeless Case for Atheism. All these people that I've mentioned, and myself, have a minor or severe depression. I've seen a trend in people that happen to be atheists also having depression. I've seen this trend here on YouTube and in my personal life. There was once somebody who told me that they knew I was an atheist because I wear all black. This person knew I had depression and uh, could clearly see that almost every day I'd wear a black t-shirt with a black jacket and maybe black pants or at least some dark colored jeans. They knew I was an atheist though, too, because they were in my class for over half a year. He was just trying to bother me about my personal point of view. But is there a link? There, there isn't one between me wearing black and me being an atheist, but what about having depression and being atheist? People, the reason why they have depression is because they have a chemical imbalance in the brain. And some antidepressants are thought to work by increasing the levels of serotonin in the brain. According to studies at John Hopkins University, when people undergo religious experience such as speaking in tongues and going into meditative states, they will see different parts of the brain light up. Uh, they identify the parts of the brain that are lighting up and the chemical, and this chemical also happens to be serotonin. So, in people with depression, they don't pr produce enough serotonin or other chemicals that alter mood and emotions. And this serotonin chemical is the one going berserk in the brain during religious experiences. The findings of jo at John Hopkins University was reported on NPR, which is where I heard this story originally. And this is what it says in part of their five-part series interactive tour th that they have on their website. A link to that will be in the description, as well as the main article slash story on the God Chemical, as it is called, part one in the five-part series. And I quote, at John Hopkins University, research suggests that chemicals that act on the serotonin systems triggers mystical experience that are life-altering. Serotonin is a chemical messenger that helps regulate mood and sleep. And this was by uh, NPR. There are the story continues in the full article, which I have a link to, as I said before. I'm not an atheist because of my depression, and that's not even what the study is suggesting. Basically what it's showing is what happens with this chemical, serotonin. And serotonin is, as I said before, linked to religious experiences. Maybe it's that people with higher levels of serotonin are more susceptible to extreme life-altering uh, experiences in the religious um, genre. Maybe, but maybe it's easier for people t with depression to see all the negative things in the world. According to another study that I saw either on Nova or some other PBS show, apparently people with depression notice different, uh, they, people with depression notice negative things quicker This is all science, and you can draw your own conclusion based on the findings, but it doesn't mean, for people like me with depression, it doesn't mean we're going to be atheists. 
and it doesn't mean we're atheists because of our depression. If it was, I'd pr and we have just this plain, bleak outlook on the world, I'd probably more be a conspiracy theorist, or a Satanist, or something else. My, my atheism is based upon logic, reason, reason, and the lack of reproducible evidence that's conclusive. Calling myself an atheist is a way for me to explain my lack of religious belief. I'm not an atheist because of my own depression, but depression is a different part of my life. Thanks for watching. I'm Autumn.